hello third graders. Today we're going to talk about the commutative property. So what is it and how can we use it with multiplication? So we're going to start with our solve and share, which again is just a way to kind of get our brains going and thinking about math and how we can solve a problem. So our story problem says, Kathy arranged seashells in two different arrays. So remember yesterday, Mrs. Alvarado did a lesson on an array. So that's when you put objects into rows and columns. One array has two rows with six shells in each row. The other array has six rows with two shells in each row. Do both arrays have the same number of shells? Draw the arrays, then write a multiplication equation for each. So remember, whenever we have a word problem, we need to underline the important information and circle the question. So our important information, Kathy arranged seashells in two different arrays. So they are different. They do not look exactly the same. One array has two rows with six shells in each row. The other array has six rows with two shells in each row. And our question, do both arrays have the same number of shells? So we're going to draw the arrays and then write a multiplication equation for each to see if they have the same number of shells. So our first one has two rows. So rows go across. So this would start row one and this is row two. There are six shells in each row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six in row one, and then we need six in row two. Our second array has six rows with two shells in each row. So our second array has six rows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, with two in each row, so two going across. So we already have one, so we just need to add one more. Now we're gonna write a multiplication equation for each of them, and the way we do that is, we have how many rows of how many? So here we have two, one, two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the way we write that as a multiplication equation is two rows of means times six. So two times six, if we have six and six, that equals 12. Here we have, remember, six rows of two. So the way we write that as a multiplication equation is six rows of two. So if we count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, our answer is twelve. So here we have two times six equals twelve, and six times two equals twelve. So to answer our question, yes, they have the same amount. She has, Kathy has 12 sh shells in each array. We can flip our two factors and still get the same answer. That is what the commutative property means. Does order matter when you multiply? Let's see. Libby and Sydney both say their poster has more stickers. Which poster has more stickers? All right, so 
Libby's poster, if we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Libby has 12 figures on her poster, and Sydney has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they have 12 each. They both have 12 stickers. You can multiply to find out. On Libby's poster, there are four rows with three stickers in each row. There are two ways to write this. Remember, an array shows objects in equal rows. Three plus three plus three plus three equals twelve. And four times three equals twelve. On Sydney's poster, there are three rows with four stickers in each row. There are two ways to write this. Four plus four plus four equals twelve. And three times four equals twelve. Both posters have the same number of images. Did the order of the factors change? So remember these factors, a factor is the number in a multiplication equation. So the num they are the numbers that are multiplied together. So here we have 4 and 3 as our factors. So it asks, did the order of the factors change? So here, 4 is the first one and 3 is the second. So it's asking, did it change in this problem? And the answer would be yes, because here we have the 4 first. And here, 3 is first. So the order was just flipped around, but we still get the same answer. Yes. The commutative order, property of multiplication, says you can multiply numbers in any order, and the product is the same. So 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3. equation for each array in the pair. So we need to find an equation for array number one and array number two. So this question says write a multiplication equation for array number one. Choose the correct answer below. So if we're writing an equation, remember we write that as how many rows do we have times how many in each row. So if we count our rows, we have one, two, three, four. Next we're going to count how many are in each row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we multiply, or we can count all of them up, four times nine equals thirty-six. So our answer over here that matches would be letter C. And remember you have to scroll down to check your answer, make sure it's right, and then move on to the second part. This part says write a multiplication equation for array 2. Choose the correct answer below. So again, how many rows do we have times how many in each row? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 rows with 1, 2, 3, 4 in each row. And if 4 times 9 equals 36, then 9 times 4 must also equal 36. And we look for this answer over here, and we see that it is answer A. Check our answer. Got it right. Good job. problems. Alright, for this one it just says find the missing number. So remember all we're doing with the commutative property 
is flipping our factors. They're just switching spots. They're not changing. We're not getting any different numbers. They're just switching. So here we have 4 times 9 equals blank times 4. So our answer to that question should be 9, since 9 is missing from this side. So the answer to that would be 9. All right, here's a sample word problem. Brian has 26 flower stickers and 48 car stickers. He gives 11 stickers to a friend. How many stickers does Brian have now? So first, Brian has, so that's how many he has right now, 26 flowers and 48 car stickers. Whenever we see and, in a word problem, that means to add. So we're going to start by adding 26 plus 48 to see how many Brian has before he gives them away. So you have 6 plus 8 is 14. Don't forget we have to carry our 10 to the tens place. Now we have 1 plus 2 plus 4. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So Brian had, just from our first part, he has 74 stickers right now. Then he gives 11 stickers to a friend. If you give something away, you would be subtracting it. You're not adding it to anything that you have. You're getting rid of it. It's going away. So now we need to subtract. He has 74 stickers and he gives 11 stickers away. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 7 minus 1 equals 6. So Brian now has 63 stickers. And that would, so you would click and type in the answer. commutative property of multiplication to show the product of 3 times 6 is the same as the product of 2 times 9. Is he correct? Why or why not? So he is saying he can use 3 times 6 equals 18. So this is the product. And he can also use 2 times 9 equals 18. So they have the same product. He's saying that he can use both of these to show the commutative property. Remember the commutative property has the same factors in it. They're just switched around. So can he use the commutative property to show 3 times 6 equals 18 and 2 times 9 equals 18? So our answer choices are, he is not correct. That property only applies to products with even factors. He is correct. That property applies whenever two products have the same value. Remember, this is the product. C says he is correct. That property applies to products with one even factor and one odd factor. Or D, he is not correct. That property only applies to products with the same factors. The commutative property only applies when you have the same factors. 3 and 6 are not the same as 2 and 9, so he is not correct. Just because they have the same product does not mean he can show the commutative property. So we're going to check our answer, and that would be correct. Alright, last sample. How do these 
these arrays show the commutative property of multiplication. So if we first find what our multiplication problem will look like, we can then answer the question. So this has one, two, three rows of one, two, three, four, five. And if we count, five, 10, 15 is our answer. This array shows one, two, three, four, five rows of one, two, three. And if three times five equals 15, then that means five times three must also equal 15. So it's asking, how do these arrays show the commutative property of multiplication? Our answer choices are different factors can have the same product. Are these different factors, three and five and five and three? No, they're the same. So that would not be a our answer. The same factors can have different products. Are the products different? No, 15 is the same as 15. So B would not be our answer either. C says the product is the same no matter how the factors are ordered. So here we have three times five equals 15, five times three equals 15. So the product is the same, even though the order of the factors are not, that could be. And then products depend on the order of the factors. I can put these in any order and still get the same. So our answer has to be C. All right, don't forget, you can watch this video as many times as you need. You also have that visual learning video that we just watched posted as well. You can watch that as many times as you need. And then your 1-4 homework buddy practice will also be assigned.